Have you killed one of my wood mice? No. I'm not going to take it away from you. So what we got here, folks, this is Jazz, my tawny owl. And it's been interesting because I've noticed that a wood mouse has been crossing the lawn from the pond area and has been coming into her aviary. And the unfortunate mouse has been caught by my tawny owl. Yes. And she's a real hunter. She really has got a natural instinct for for hunting. And this proves it, doesn't it, Jazz? Because you're first generation wild. So I wonder how many of these you're catching then? These are my little friends. So she's thinking I'm gonna take it away from her. I'm gonna take it away from you. I'm not going to take it away from you. So as you can see, she's uh, got in her talons and she's already killed the mouse. Well, the squeeze, as soon as she caught it, would have killed it. But she's also dispatched it with her beak. And of course the talons are what do the catching. So that's one less mouse I'm going to have in the garden, isn't it? So I suppose this is what we call wild owl, because you're nearly wild, aren't you? So this is just natural behaviour. And she's now going into her, her little quiet area for this mouse, as you can see. And I think she thinks I'm going to take it away from her. <laughs> Well, what a shame. Well, that's not Mr. Woodmouse we were filming the other week. It certainly looks like um, an adult mouse, judging by the what's left of it. Tawny owls in the wild eat a lot of wood mice. And Jazz is Avery. She's got two sides to her Avery. She's got a natural side, which is in here. And this is where the mouse would have, would have come. And of course, it's, it's dark now. And she is much more active at night and she would have heard this mouse and this mouse would have been scurrying around looking for food and um, the bird would have been here sat up on the perch like it would in a woodland sitting on a branch and um, it would have been um, unaware that <laughs> there's actually a tawny owl resident in the wild owl garden and the unfortunate mouse has paid the ultimate price for that. It's one of the things that um, if you poison mice, one of the considerations is what predators may prey on those mice if they're poisoned. Now of course not everybody's got a captive tawny owl like I have, but that could be a cat, it could be um, another wild predator, um, maybe a fox, anything like that. So it's something to consider if you're poisoning. And poisons are just not good, they're indiscriminate. So there we go, that was the prompt you filming, wasn't it Jazz? Just about to put you to sleep. Well, put you to sleep, put you to bed. Put you to sleep. You're gonna go in then. Take all the attempts to take it off there. Come on then. Come on. Come on, you naughty little girl. This is just what Tawny Owls do, isn't it? So off she goes. Go to bed then. And just so you can see what we have in here. I'll show you the torch. There's her Tawny Owl box. And she's going to bed in there. So uh, there we go. That's uh, not the most uh, constructive wild owl video but um, hopefully an enjoyable one all the same just to give you a bit of an insight into the comings and goings in what would perhaps be a woodland so 
I'll sign off on this beautiful, beautiful evening. It really is a stunning evening tonight. And uh, I've just been playing around in the pond. Well, not in the pond. <laughs> just playing around to see if we can get the pumps going in the pond. And uh, well, there's any fogs around. Certainly lots of fogs, as you know, in the garden at the moment. Anyway, I'm going. Bye for now.